Right, hi guys, it's Spikeboy55 here. Today I'm going to show you how to get past the uh, Java Virtual Machine now. Uh, it'll be this error here, uh, can upgrade Java Virtual Machine. Um, all you need is this file that I'm going to show you how to make. Basically it's an auto-run file, uh, opens the CMD, and then it goes into Minecraft. But the only downside with this is you need to keep that file open when you're actually playing the game. Because if you close it, this is actually what's running the Minecraft. So I have not actually connected to the internet, so none of this has all worked out, but as you can see it all works fine. And then you just click play offline, but I'm not on the internet, so I can't go online. Right, um, here we go. So this is how you make the file. Uh, I'll quickly show you. Close that, it'll close the mic. Right, to make the file, what you need is this bit of coding here. Right, java slash xms 650m. Uh, space slash jar space I'll put that all in the description now this bit is personal to you unless your name is John and you've got your C drive and also your Minecraft on your desktop so basically what you need is you need this here I also put it in the description you want to change the if there's only one user you don't need to put users in and um, you need to change the thing after users so that would be your name, mine is John so you need to put your actual name in there or like whatever the user is logged on to at the moment so as you can see mine is John right so what you need now is to make sure that you've got your Minecraft on your desktop because otherwise this is only routing straight to your desktop so you, after your name it will say desktop Minecraft if you know how to change all that you can but don't blame me if it goes wrong so I'll just keep it the same as what I've got at the moment and you'll just have to keep it on the desktop you can move the uh, bat file wherever you want but anyway once you've done that you click file save as wherever you want to save it but what you've got to make sure that you do is you change it from text to all files to you can leave it as run minecraft or whatever you want you can put anything there but what you've got to make sure that you do is put all files then after your thing that you've just typed in, you need to put dot .bat, so dot .bat, and then you just click save. I've already got a file there, so it'll just overtake that one, right. And then you should have your file there, so um, thanks for watching, rate and subscribe, um, I'll hope to do a few more tutorials. Oh yeah, and my mate has made a clan, if you want to join it, go to my featured tab on my channel, and then the homepage is there. Right, thanks for watching, bye.